Hello boys and not boys and welcome back to the channel. Now I have made a bit of progress since last we uh, were recording. Um, obviously the losses that I suffered in the last episode uh, sent me sparring a little bit. So with a little bit of a nerd rage I went around and just ignored everybody for a while. We still have all of the property we had before. Uh, I've been around and purged some of the garrisons of the tier 5 units. However, they've been stocked back up again by unknown parties. So it is what it is. But all of my places now have a decent-ish garrison. I was around here recently um, just because these guys, uh, the Kazates or what, what the, whatever these are supposed to be now, um, did take a shining to my area and tried to take um, Kiev and the castle. And I went and defended them both successfully. I have stocked up on Crusader troops because they seem to be absolutely whooping my ass. So I figured if you can't beat them, join them. So our army at the moment is comprised predominantly of Crusader troops of varying levels of skill. There we go. Uh, I've also got a whole bunch of Crusader prisoners that I've collected up as we've been warring with the Germans. Um, just to make sure I've got some backfill in case I need them. Um, I have then spent all of my time smithing. So... You can see here that I have quite a large amount of steel. I've created quite a production line with the guys I have in my party. So I've been uh, hammering this out for probably nigh on four hours. Um, I've burned through about 400 pieces of wood getting to where we are now. Um, but what it has resulted in is in my inventory you will find a huge pile of... Throwing javelins. I have absolutely enormous amounts of them. And I need them because our armies and garrisons are costing us a fortune and our settlements are not making that much money. So. We need to continue on our path. I did think about seceding from the English. Um, which is something that I'll probably do in the next couple of episodes. I think we're strong enough. I think we own enough now to do that. It would be interesting to do that, um, but in the interim, I've just been trying to smith up and get stuff done. Now, what I will do is I'll head to what would I consider being my most well defended? Probably Reams, to be fair. Yeah, I'll head to Reams, and I'm going to show you a little trick that I do. That's something that I forgot to do. Well, I didn't forget to do it. I was being impatient when I was chasing down that castle siege, and I just didn't do it. Um, so whenever you're going to go into battle and you're going to go on a, like a long war campaign, you can utilize your settlements. So if we go into the keep, we've got something called a stash. So we can open the stash. And as far as I'm aware, this has unlimited storage. I don't think there's a limit on how much you can put in here. But basically you can throw a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then even if you're captured and everything like that, it will still be there for you. So for such as your blacksmithing supplies, obviously I've worked very hard to, to build these up. I can just throw them all in here and then as and when we need them we can pull them back out again but one of the things i do need to do is my guys is weaponry blood axe needs a weapon let's be honest so oh somebody asked as well they asked um for the stats on the uh sword <laughs> i'm not going to say its name because i've already been in trouble today yesterday's crusader video was delayed because it got into trouble for the monetization thing because when you put videos up, that they're not really bothered. But as soon as you've got that monetization tag on it, it all of a sudden goes through extra checks. And I got a video passed back a couple of times because of some wording, let's say. Uh, so I have to be careful with the way that I say things. Um, but they're the stats for the sword. Swing speed at 85. Um, swing damage at 105. And length at 119. For me, that is a perfect little uh, balanced sword. It's got the perk for extra damage versus shields. There are only three blades in the tier 4, tier 5 mix-up that have that for one-handed swords. One's the Falk's Blade, which is a tier 4 weapon, um, which has it. And then you've got the Back Blade and the, this blade. I'll show you what they are anyway, because I need to make a weapon for um, Blood Axe. So if we go to... Oh, we've got no Thamaskian Steel. Do I need Thamaskian Steel? I think I do. My Steel guys... One of them's still available. Right. Refine... Uh, just make some. 
Now you see this guy's able to make a lot of ingots, and I'll show you why he's able to do that in a moment. In fact, who is that? Yeah, Colbert. I'll show you why Colbert is able to do that. So we can go back to me, go to Forge, go to One-Handed Swords, Tier 5 only, scroll... Yeah, there you go, look. So you've got the engraved Backsword Blade, which is the one that I've used. Or you've got the Highland Decorated Blade, which also has that perk there. Bonus against shields. And then in T4, as you can see, there's no more here that have that perk. Then T4, none of them have it. And even that one, the Falchion Blade, I would have expected to have it, but it doesn't. None of these have it until you get to the Falchion Blade. As much as this is a decent sword, statistically, I just really don't like the look of them. That forward hook, I get it, it's for reaching around shields and being able to hit people behind their protection and 100% understand the functionality and, and bonuses of the weapon. I just can't get over the look of it, it's just not a cool looking sword. And if it's not a cool looking sword, I'm not going to use it. Um, so yeah, that's why I don't use it. So we'll put the blade out as long as we can. The cross guard, I'm pretty sure we used... I think it was that one, or was it that one? It might be that one. All right, what do we get? Swing cup damage 98. Not much in it. We use this one. I like a bit of a, a nice big cross guard on my weapon. Uh, we use this and wait, was it that handle? Yes, it was that handle. And then we used, I think it was this pommel. Swing cut damage is 103. That will go up. Swing speed 77. That can't be right. 79. Yeah. So if that comes up as master crafted like mine is, it should be a pretty decent weapon. Crafted. 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 Dull. Mother trucker. What am I out of? Fine steel. My two guys that can make that can't. In fact, I can just smelt the swords I've already made. Yeah. There we go. Now we have enough materials to make another one. Into the history. Balanced. We can go with a balanced. So swing speed 80, a little bit slower than I would have liked it. Swing cut damage 106. And a length of 117. That to me is a decent sword. And we'll call that Bullet Axe Blade. Just so I know who it's for. Done. And then we'll crop another couple. Got another balance there. Um, just for the other guys. Masterwork. Oh, that would have been better for him. Right, so. We'll dish these out. It can be incredibly advantageous to have your guys carrying the best weapons they possibly can. There's not much point in putting that weapon on my wife. Because her one-handed skill is pretty poor. So we'll give her the balanced one. Look how big it looks next to her. She's so small. Uh, not coal biter. Not strand. Not spice vendor. Blood axe. He wants the masterwork one. Good. And then we will give coal biter one. Makes sense, seeing as though he helped us make the materials for it. The grizzle doesn't need one. That's fine. And I could do with making some Mastercrafted pole arms as well. So we'll wait until night time. Because they've all got Smith and Stamina perks. So they will be able to do that. Endurance attribute or focus point in one handed. Well, we're going to go with the endurance attribute, aren't we? Uh, just double check nobody else has got any focus points to spend. Nope, oh, that's fine. Everybody should be back to full stamina. Refine. I'm going to need a lot of fine steel for this one. I don't 
think the spear uses the masking steel, so we don't need that. Got a whole bunch of it. There we go. Oh, I told you I'd tell you how they do that, so I'll show you. So, both Ilstard and Colbyer have a perk in smithing that you get at 1... 2, 5. It's there, look. Practical refiner. Minus 50% stamina spent while refining. And we, as our player, we use practical smelting. So we take 50% less stamina penalty when we're smelting. And what that means is they can produce, as you can see, loads and loads of ingots at the same time. Um, right, spears. So, I don't want pike. Go on the pole arm. The head we want on it is this one, because it does the most pierce damage. So that does 41, that does 41, that does 38, 41. So this is the one that I've been using. I've been using that because it's got the dismount perk on it. I've been using that because it's the only one that comes with couch. So that one comes with spear brace and that one comes with nothing. So that's the handle that we use. Max it out to get our weapon reach 223. We'll then put a notch on the end of it as well just to complete the spear. And that is a couchable lance that's going to do a significant amount of damage. Where did my damage go? Why did I drop to 39? Hmm. Would appear there is a sweet spot. Huh. Okay. Doesn't really make a difference, that. We'll leave it there then. So we need probably four of these. Balance is fine. Masterwork's even better. Bent's no good. Crafted will do. Cracked is no good. Masterwork is excellent. Crafted's fine. Bent's not. Balance is fine. I think we might have enough there. Let's just double check. I think mine's a masterwork one, yep. And hers is a masterwork one already, yep. We got balanced. Forty-four pierce. What does mine do? Forty-four pierce. Length two to eight. Length two oh seven. I don't know what I did differently, but mine just came out better. Uh, sorry, call by a balanced. You've now got a masterwork. Bill Stard. Balanced to masterwork. Spice vendor. Got a balanced. Bloodaxe doesn't need one. He does need a shield, though. I need to start selling these javelins. Uh, thick Knight Shield will do him fine. Thick Heavy Round Shield will give him better coverage, to be fair. Look at that. <laughs> you, you ain't shooting him with nothing. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave him with that. Um, he should have a... Yep, anti-range damage. That's fine. And you should have... Increased range damage, that's fine. What's our food stores looking like? Well, we're good. Cool. Done. So everyone's got a decent sword, everyone's got a decent spear, everyone's got a decent uh, shield. Spice Vendor could do with an upgrade on our armor. I don't think we can buy plate armor down here. I think we'd have to go back to the western area to buy it. So she's going to have to go with whatever we can find. Because 32 is quite low. 39 for 107k. Somebody's smoking something unhealthy. In fact, have we got anything already? Because I've been in quite a few fights. Yeah, we have. We've actually got some stuff that she can use. So you can take the fine brass grate. In fact, let's go to the... Right, me first. I'm fine. Wife, fine. Coal biter. Guy on the front line definitely needs the best gear.
Oh, I don't like that. It messes with the aesthetic. See the plate armor because it's added in as part of a, a part of a what do you call it? It's part of a mod. It doesn't get the the lordly tags or legendary, whichever one you want to go with. That's fine though, and he could do with a knight shield as well. Just anything that gives him more coverage than what he's already got. Yeah, there we go. Also, these shields are not very common, so it makes him stand out on the battlefield. Ooh. Oh, even better. Look at the size of that bad boy. That's protecting him and the guy on his left and right. He is on horseback, though, so does he need that? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, why not? We'll give him huge, huge shields. Still starred, tall heater shield. You can have that one. Spice vendor. Uh, you're one of the ones I've just took off. That one. Nice. Blood axe. Does this seem small now? This kind of seems small to me. Not cracked. Mm, thick. And that's not really any better. That's a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. Uh, bound crossbow. I'm pretty sure that's the best you can get. And heavy crawls is the best you can get. As far as I'm aware. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, I am missing something. Bolts, apparently, are better. Hickory crossbow. No, that's just the same. Right. Is that better for me? Or do I want a massive round shield as well? Because this thing does seem to let throwing weapons through when I don't want it to. Uh, not correct. Battered, yeah. Large round shield. Yeah, I'll take one of those as well. Right. She is more than adequately prepared. Let's do a quick gear check. Make sure everyone's got the best that they can have. Fine. Some better helmet. Shrek. 50-52. That's a better helmet. That's 56. That's fine. I thought I'd skipped one then by accident. And... The mail with tablet's going to be arguably, arguably better for you. Plate hands are better for you. And we got any boots over that. Blood axe is just a beast. Right. I think we're golden. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Pass it is way over because I'm carrying a lot of wood, I think. Yeah, 685. I'm carrying that much because um, the town I was just in, that I ran from, not ran from, but moved from, um, that had like 4,000 wood in it, and I burned through all of it. So we'll crack open the stash. We'll pop in uh, the hardwood, crude iron, raw iron, charcoal, iron steel, fine steel, and Damascian steel for what it's worth. Uh, we're carrying a lot of crap that we don't need, so we'll sell that. 
Do I have an abundance of horses that I want to get rid of? Not really, no. Am I getting a herding penalty? I am getting a herding penalty. I'm carrying too many. Right, we'll get rid of some of the more expensive ones. Appreciate we're 20 minutes in and we're still doing admin, but it's important stuff. Jewelry, leather, pottery, uh, silver ore, tools. The rest of it is good. Although we are short on things like beer, olives, cheese and butter. Uh, let's check if this is good for anybody. 64, 64, 64, 64. Oh, there you go. Upgrade. You don't have a horse. Neither do you. Take the two mules. They're war horses, we kind of need them. Upgrades. This is just mass stuff that I've taken off of people doing castle defences and things. The really funny thing is, when I got defeated and I was retreating back to my um, own places, I realised that my garrisons were costing me a lot. So I was going around taking out the troops, and it turned out that there's enough troops in there to actually put together a couple of decent armies. So I've been running around doing castle defences, just using the excess garrison troops that I didn't want in my places to begin with. It's been quite amusing. Almost there. Almost bled him dry. Give me all the monies. Oops. I'll do. Right. Now I need to pick a target. Where are we going? Who are we killing? Uh, we do have a couple of parties around as well. So I created a couple of parties. I created three parties. And one of them is currently imprisoned, I believe. Yeah. Prisoner of Dijon. Dijon's got an army of 500 defending it. So we'll head down that way. So one of our castles is under siege. See if any of our family members are available to join us. They are. Looks like the healer is currently in a party. No, they're not. They're there. Oh, they must be on their way to an army. How many is attacking this castle? 600. Uh, defenders, 121. One. So if we... Are we just in the same situation we were in before? What have they actually got? You know what? That's not even my castle. I'm not bothered. Uh, what do I want? I want to take Dijon because I want to free my captured companion. So I need 500 men. Uh, 65, 73. Wow. Nobody has any troops. Let's go and park ourselves over there. Just so we're ready. All we could do is doing a hideout, really. I've kind of neglected leveling my companions, so they're all not overly great in close combat, so it might be worth us just running a few hideouts when we find them. Alright, this is old school forest bandits. Why does this shield look a lot smaller now? It's on me. F3, F5, merge them into one. Two, F3, F5, merge them into one. Three, I'm three. Okay. One, F3, F5, merge them onto me. Except, there we go. Oh. 
There we go. Getting some skill points up. Ah, everyone's aggroed now. I'm going to go and take care of this guy to make sure that we don't split the group. Bait some shots out yet. There we go. At least two of them are looking at me. I seem to be aggroing people from a very long way away. Grizzled, he's not even got a shield, he's just face tanking the arrows. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you with a spear just to be funny. I mean, your friend's shooting me for some reason. There we go. The grizzled went down. I'm not going to send him. Oh, do I? Your boss is dead. Just saying. Don't want any of that mess. It's more interesting people getting level ups. We got a level up. Bloodaxe got a level up and he's one handed. That's good. Um, you're not a party leader, so neither of those will make any difference. You might as well take that one just in case I eventually make you a governor or something. Uh, not interested in that. We're going to head over here. We should have other parties that are currently. Oh, dude, you done messed up. Oh, Maggie. Maggie's army. So what's in here? 693. I reckon I'm carrying enough crap to upgrade my troops. How much of that is a garrison? 221. So if we hit it now, how big is that army attacking Marcel? Is that just going to turn around and face stomp me? Because if it is, that might be a problem. Oh, different faction. I shouldn't be interested in what I'm doing. Are they going to win though? Still a hundred of them left. There's a thousand of them, 500 of us. I'm not taking... I'm not yet accustomed to... this army. So I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit. My companion is trapped inside this city, and I wish to see him freed. I'm going to keep an eye out just in case we all of a sudden get a disgraceful amount of people coming after us. I'm not bothered about Richard losing territory to the French. Because I fully intend on obviously turning and creating my own kingdom of the Hospitallers after this anyway. So as long as I don't lose any of my territory, I'm not bothered. Grizzle gained a level. Do we want to use catapults on this? Do we need to use catapults on this? Probably.
Wait, cancel that one. That wasn't a fire car. Oh, there we go. Mainly because I want to starve out the garrison as well. Appreciate this is taking a little bit longer than normal. I'm just very conscious that we've got a, almost a 1,000 strong army floating around back there somewhere. I would rather not come up from the rear and take me on. This is where Richard declares peace with the French. An English army made up of crusaders assaulting a French holding. This has never happened before in history. <coughs> Just say it. And then we will put the battering ram up, just for giggles. I really thought that was them declaring peace to the French, then I was about to flip. <laughs> I think it's coming though. I don't think it's too far away. back up. We'll swap out to the catapults now. Uh, I should be able to. I've got no days worth of food left so the garrison will bleed out quite quickly now. Six on the garrison. Oh, the scholar was captured and has escaped. Wait, is that the guy that I've just come to rescue? It 100% is. <laughs> so the guy that I've just come to rescue, he's just escaped himself. Can you imagine that conversation when he gets back to our capital? He's like, boss, you'll never guess what. I managed to escape. You know, the place was under siege, and while it was all chaos, I managed to slip out the back. I was like, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's fine. There's only 64 of them left. We'll let them starve out, and then we'll go in. In fact, we're going now. 20's not going to make a difference. I want to do our upgrades first though. Uh, dude, dudes, them dudes, some of them dudes, and we'll have a few of those dudes as well. Uh, I did answer the question as well. Even though when you look at the model here, it looks very much like an Imperial Legionnaire. You'll notice once we get into the battle, the skin is completely different and their armor is completely different. The mod's just messing up. So as much as they don't look like the Crusader Man at Arms and the Crusader Sergeant, when we get into the game, you'll notice that they do look vastly different. Uh, and then characters, got a few level ups and stuff to deal with, medicine. That one. Uh, healing the healer is currently one of my stewards, so you're going to need more focus points and stewards. Not stewards, party leaders, sorry. Uh, just double checks, I think we've got two notifications that two people had leveled up. There we go. Oh, the Grizzled. So his athletics, crossbow, and 
one-handed is all perfect. What we need him to work on now, more than anything, is his bow skill. Because unfortunately, we've moved on to using bows now. And I really can't be bothered to find somebody else to do my... stuff so we'll put that on that like that done and then we'll see if we've got a bow we can give to him we should have in all the stuff that i've picked up we should definitely have some sort of bow somewhere uh so grizzled 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 Legendary, that does not look like a legendary hunting boat, I'm just saying. That looks like something your kid made. But we'll go with it, we'll go with it. And then we can give him the arrows on the flip side. Don't actually have a limit on skill. So we can just give him the best ones we can find. Which is that one, the pierced arrow is the best I believe. 4 damage, 5 pierce. Oh, no, all the way around. Balanced, balanced stacked bodkin arrows. I've never seen those before. Anywho, we've got a dude with a bow now. Leading dudes with bows. That was using crossbows, but I've resigned myself to the fact that crossbows are not very good. Ugh. <sighs> Right, what's it giving us? Why are we auto-deployed? We're auto-deployed because we auto-deployed in the castle when we were defending it. That's why. Because the game doesn't differentiate between a castle siege and a castle defense. It just goes, oh, you're at a castle. Two holes in the wall there and there. Not very far apart, to be honest. I'll set the archers up back here somewhere. I'll see if I can bait the defenders out. Yeah, I can split it while we're in the game. The only difference is I can't assign a captain while we're in the game, so that's fine. 25 bowmen, that's all you gave me. I've got like 66 myself. Fine, whatever. So we need the infantry to be here taking the majority of the attention. Stand like forward uh, form a shield wall. It's like a fairground ride. Da, 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 da. Not a fairground ride, a shooting gallery at a fairground. Right. Got to hit the knight to win a prize. <laughs> Come on, boys, get a shuffle on. Lord have mercy. All right, you win a prize. Yeah. Archers! Forward! I think... Right, it's causing them to shuffle because of that wall, so we'll just move them a little bit. See if we can bait these guys out. Yo, sir.
Was that somebody throwing something at me then? Excuse me. Very rude. Come up here, boys. We need to go up here. Yes, sir. Meant to show you, sorry. So these are all Imperial trained infantrymen and Imperial sergeants. But if you look, that guy is a Crusader sergeant, and you can see his get up is completely different. And that guy is one of their man at arms. And that guy's one of their axemen. So you can see that they're in in the game, in the battle, their armor and stuff does change. But in the menu, for some reason, it's still not. Those bracketed heater shields are a good way of spotting the um, men at arms. And I think the these... No, they're the knights. These are the sergeants. And then the guys with the dark chainmail, these guys, they're the men at arms. And in my little playtesting, I have found that... I don't know if it's their skills or their armor combination or what. But they are incredibly deadly way overpowered. Uh, it was obvious whoever made this mod deliberately made the Crusader stronger than everything else. Can we get him? I don't even think I'll get a sniff in here. Oh, this might help. Oh, wow. That was a good hit. Can I get back on my horse, please? Thank you. That was embarrassing. Dude got stabbed in the face at speed. That's unfortunate. Oh, this was a mistake. This this was a mistake. Excuse me. Let me see if my new spear works. Oh, yeah, it works. Works rather well. Just poking people out of the crowd. <laughs> you there. You! Hold my spear! Now, obviously, these kind of spears are designed to be used at speed. So, standing still and stabbing people is not exactly using it to its maximum efficiency. Oh, bless you. Almost, pal. I am sorry, but surviving wasn't on your bingo card today. Ah, 
that's good. If I hadn't chased down those six, I probably would have uh, had to do a keep fight as well. Crusader Knight, 82 kills. Those guys are just insane. Uh, I'm not interested in keeping you prisoner. Oh, so there was somebody of from England in there. There was several people from England in there. Okay. So my guy was the lucky guy that managed to escape. Done. Done. Illegit. It's mine now. Continue. It's just another thing I've got to look after. It's in the middle of nowhere as well. I don't particularly want it. I only came here to get my companion back. Alright, one hand's gone up. Uh, plus five experienced troops in your party after a battle. It's going to be that one then, isn't it? Kids are growing up. Intelligence. Social. Uh, what's your garrison? 240. It's not going to dissuade anybody. We're at peace with the Germans now. Oh, wait. France has only got one property left. Is that right? Is that the last... The last holdout for them? Because that's not French. We need to check. We need to check. Because if they've only got one holdout, then we might as well go after it. It literally only has one thief left. But it's defended by 600 people. We have an army of... 600. And the ability to starve them out. Because we've got more food than sense. We are on our way, boys. We are going to go and destroy France. If they seize that down, I don't care. As long as it's not France sieging it down. You thought you were going to get there in time. You were wrong. All I can hope now is that we have enough guys to hold. Because there's, there's, no, there's no more to summon. We can't summon anybody else. So this is... Unless they can drum up 600 guys to fight us in the fields. Should. Be able to do this. We have 25 prisoners that want to join us. However, we don't have space for 25, so we'll take them all. And then, who's got the lowest? You. Donate troops. Now, what am I over on? I'm over on horses. We can have the squires. Uh, still over on horses. That's cool. And then I'll use a lot of my inventory of weapons and armor. Obviously, except the, the javelins to upgrade my troops as far as I can to make sure that if we do get jumped, we at least stand the best chance possible of winning. But that will be a problem for the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Appreciate this was a late one. And I'll catch you in the next one.